Hey everyone, my name is Justin Nicholson and thank you for joining me at Mushroom Mountain. Today I want to show you guys how we inoculate our logs with fungi to grow mushrooms. Growing mushrooms on logs is the oldest and probably the easiest method to grow them. And of all the mushrooms that you can grow on logs, shiitake is definitely the easiest. Shiitake are native to Southeast Asia, where they have been cultivated for over a thousand years for their culinary value as a meaty mushroom and their wide range of health benefits. Shiitake mushrooms are a superfood packed full of nutrients, minerals, and vitamins. They're especially known for reducing inflammation, lowering blood pressure, and their impressive vitamin D content. And today, they're the second most cultivated mushroom in the world. All right, so in order to start inoculating your logs, first you're gonna need a log no older than six weeks old, preferably about four to eight inches in diameter and three to four feet long. For shiitake mushrooms, we're using a hardwood log, but depending on the mushroom you wanna grow, we'll determine the kind of wood you wanna use. You can also use seasoned wood if fresh wood is not available, as long as the seasoned wood isn't split. A drill, a drill bit, that's 8.5 millimeters or 5 sixteenths inch wide. Today I'm using a specialty drill bit made for inoculating logs, but feel free to use a regular drill bit. A hammer, your spawn plugs, these spawn plugs are just small wooden dowels colonized by a mycelium. Some wax. We prefer soy wax or beeswax. A brush to apply your wax. A glass jar to heat your wax in. A stainless steel pot to heat your wax in. A burner to heat your wax up. I like this one here, but you can also use your kitchen stove. You may want some personal protective equipment, like some gloves and an apron. So before we start drilling and inoculating our logs, we're gonna go ahead and start melting our wax because that can take a little while. First, we need to get some water and then pour our wax into our jar. And then we can go ahead and get our wax melted. All right, so once you've got all your tools together, grab, go ahead and grab your log and your drill with your drill bit attached. And if you have the 5 16 drill bit, I recommend putting a piece of tape around an inch and a half down on that drill bit to, uh, to mark a good spot to stop. We're gonna do this little hand gesture right here, and this, this is about three to four inches apart, and that's about how far you want your holes to be. So we're gonna do one. Little hand gesture. Do it again. Right? And, and once you've got your first line of holes, then you can just use those holes as a reference point. All right, now that you've got your first row of holes drilled, we're just going to drill about three to four inches away from those holes right here in between each hole. And we're gonna do that across the whole log to create a diamond pattern of holes.
All right, so now that you've got your holes drilled, you can uh, grab your plugs and you're gonna start hammering them into the holes that you just drilled. For this part, you can go ahead and take your plugs off. And we're just gonna insert the plug in there. We'll do a row at a time. All right, and now that you got them set them up, you just knock them in. All right, so now that you've got your first log inoculated, we're gonna take it over to our soy wax station and we're gonna put soy wax on each of these individual holes and plugs that we just put in. All right, so now that your wax is melted and you've got your plugs in your log, you're ready to wax. And this is when the, where the apron comes in handy. Uh, I recommend an apron if you don't wanna get possibly get any wax on your clothes. But uh, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of these brushes here, dip into your wax, and dap each of these plugs until they're covered. All right, simple as that. We've inoculated our first log. Now, if you guys want to come with me, I'll show you guys how to set it up to grow. All right, so now that you've got your log inoculated, and you brought it out somewhere in the woods or anywhere with some dappled sunlight, but mostly shade, you're gonna set your logs up like this. Uh, this is just a really efficient way for them to grow, stacking them like a log cabin. It allows 
logs on the bottom to wick moisture and carry the moisture to the rest of the logs, while also keeping these logs off the ground and avoiding contamination. All you gotta do from here is keep an eye on the weather, make sure it rains and they stay moist. If it's dry for a couple weeks, come out and water them once a week with a good bit of water. And in nine months to a year, you should be having all the shiitake you could eat. All right, before you guys go, I want to do a little review. Here's the, all the tools that we used today to inoculate our logs. So first we started by gathering our tools, then we melted our wax, and then we equipped our personal protective equipment, drilled our log, then we plugged our log and hammered the plugs in, then we applied the melted wax to the inoculation points, and then we placed our log in a suitable environment. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments section. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button.